gaming. That's right, we're gaming. Dude, 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 dude. together. You, 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 and I. Because Morgan's not here. Gaming. You and I and I and you and I are gaming. Gonna pretend to be people that we're not. Shoot a little Roll some dice. Up. Gaming. Well done. Hey, thanks Love for it. tuning in. It's Wednesday again, so that means it's Crosden time. I don't know why I became so fabulous there, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's episode 60. I mean, what's not to be fabulous about? As soon as I started talking, Laura's out. <laughs> <laughs> episode 60 of Crosden. Remember the name. Remember the name. Remember. What name? I don't remember. Wolf, wolf. Find out. It's a thing I'm doing later. Um, uh, last that, week. That is if we go in that direction. <laughs> How Fort Minor of, of me. Yes. 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 It, it, it was, uh, I have shenoted all the way. Um, uh, nose goes if who's left. You are, you have the re reaction of a dead octopus. <laughs> the, uh, Worry? What happened last week? Oh, I didn't know I lost because I was just pulling up the Discord. Um Well, we were on a boat and and uh we decided to check out to see where uh where Jenny went because we were concerned that maybe she was heading back to her father's house and there could be somebody waiting for there. But it turns out she was going to this lighthouse, which we didn't know if it was her father's house or not, but we eventually kind of figured that it probably wasn't. And um, it seemed like she was generally safe there, so uh, we didn't poke around too much. It and seems what was like there was definitely someone who had been staying there maintaining the light host. So it couldn't have been Adris's place because he's been gone for so long. And what was the reason that she decided to leave the boat that you were all on? Fuck, we told her some things. Oh, that's right. You know. So, I mean, it's, I mean, things that she needed to know about. But, you know, we didn't, no one told her before then. So she was quite upset about it. And she yeah. needed to go somewhere and mm -hmm. do something. We don't know what she did because we eventually decided it was better that we not, you know, encroach in her privacy. You know? Yeah. So. Yeah, she was very upset when she found out that her father had been possessed for the last three years or so. She was a little upset. That was, it's a thing, you know. We probably should have told her that beforehand, but we're not very good friends, are we? Apparently not. So, anywho, uh, we after that was all we're going to say resolved, uh, <laughs> we uh, went off on the boat. We mm -hmm. set sail, and everything was going swimmingly. Yes. Nobody had to get out and swim. And Nobody. We, uh, but all of a sudden, there was someone, uh, there was another ship approaching from the rear. As that ship was approaching, we were suddenly attacked by some creepy mer people, mer folk, whatever. Anywho, right. yes, they stormed onto the boat, and then two more uh, strange creatures from the deep also made their way onto the boat, and then a, a third, like way bigger creature with like a swirling storm for legs like some kind of uh, water genie type of thing. Uh, but it had like, you know, kind of like fish parts and a disgusting orange face. Um, all, all came onto the boat to, for the, to join the party. And uh, there was a big, there was a big Donny Brook. But we, uh, we emerged victorious. But uh, those yahoos from behind us were still tailing us. And, uh, as it turned out, 
it was um, Captain Lindley Hurst, who we had uh, previously uh, made acquaintance with and let live. Uh, and he was screaming at us. He didn't know it was us. Um, so, you know, Orion, not so much a vindictive move, but in a, in a very strategic move uh, to make sure that they could no longer follow us, uh, flew on over to their main mast and um, kind of kind of um, set set fire to the sail and uh, started flying back. And that is, I believe, where we left off. Yes, that is. That sounds about right. Um, uh, it ended with uh, Jenny yelling all sorts of swears off of the edge of the uh, off of the edge of the uh, um, ship at Lindley. Lindley was apologizing <laughs> and trying to turn the ship around, and now his sails are on fire. So, at this if point, still time. I would still like to poop on his ship. Too late. You've met, you've missed it. You should have thought of it last week. <laughs> <laughs> I am now circling back. To, I'm just kidding. <laughs> My child is dying upstairs. Um, oh no. At this point, Jenny runs to the helm and starts trying to whip the shit back around. Raise the anchor! Raise the anchor! We never weighed anchor. It got dragged down by the things it's, under the water last he week. He stopped him. Yes, but it's still, it, it's, it's still let down some ways. Okay. It's not caught on the bottom or anything, but it's still dragging there in the water. Okay. Bit. So I go over there. And I'm and I, I'm not strong enough to do much. Joe, I <clears throat> I start walking over there and then realize I get about two feet away from it and stop. And I can't reach it <laughs> because I'm still tied to the mask. Smart though. I mean, I'm not very kind of... strong, but I can kick it a little bit and punch it, and it will maybe move. Seeing this, I kind of hop over to the rope, and I bite it because I'm still an, I'm still a giant fucking eagle. Um. <laughs> oh, Joel over, and Joel can help me. Joel can help. There you go. Uh, so roll with advantage, Duncan. Right. I'll take the eighteen. I rolled an eighteen and then an eight. So I'll take the 18. You have, I would probably go with the 18, yeah. Um, yeah, sure. But two, two of you are, start, are able to start to pull up the anchor. Now, it isn't actually slowing you down all that much. It, again, it isn't dragging, but you were... If it were, were to hit something, it was lowered. Aye. Um, you, she starts to move the ship around in kind of a violent fashion, I'll be honest. So... Everybody, uh, roll dexterity save real quick. It doesn't. It's not. Doesn't need to be high. We just need to get ten or better. Do, uh, okay. I'll take that twelve. Uh, okay, Ori, did you roll, roll another twenty? Oh, I mean, I'm still an eagle, but. Okay. Well, you fall. You you fall down uh, in eagle form. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I I would have had people fall off the boat, but you can just fly, so it doesn't matter. The um, (laughs) you uh, get turned around, and she's very much trying to chase Lendley's boat at this point. Um, is anybody trying to stop her? Jenny, what are you doing then? Well, you, you never catch her. Wait, wait, the sail's on fire. So you probably will catch her. I will fucking catch him. I don't care. 
But why though? He's trying to fuck you, you fucking kidding me? No. He tried to bark and send people over to. to that was him, right? I'm confused. I don't think the mer people were from him. We know him. He's a dumbass. But oh, I know Lindley too. Yeah, I don't think the mer people were from Lindley. Of course they are. He speaks that shit. Actually, it might be worth questioning, but I don't know how much time we have. You know, I speak goblin, but that doesn't mean I'm from there. Roll persuasion. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I roll it with the negative numbers on that, so. So she doesn't listen to you then? Not at all. No, no, fuck this. No, fuck this. I'm gonna fucking hunt his boat down. I'm gonna light the rest of it on fire. I don't know if we should start. I mean, it's already kind of on fire. I it's think it's worth asking him, him some minute. questions. Yeah. Lindley! What? <laughs> Did you send those mer people? Was that you? Of course not! <laughs> Insect chick! See? He's telling the truth. I told you it wasn't him. He said that it wasn't him. Tell her it wasn't you. I roll an insight check and get a 21. You know he's lying. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm pretty sure he know. I'm pretty sure he's lying. I'll see you 21 and raise you two. <laughs> That guy's a lying son of a bitch. Let's get him! I mean, I, I, in fairness, he didn't know it was us, and he is kind of a pirate, and we are also kind of pirates, and, like, you do that shit to people when you don't know who they are. Wait a minute, what's that guy's name? Yeah. Yeah. So is it a name I should remember? Lindley Hurst? <laughs> Wasn't he the the pirate who worked with your dad, Duncan? Am I remembering his face right. wrong or right? No, that's right. That's what it was. Yeah, right. You you question him. Last time anybody saw him. There. Last time mm -hmm. any of you saw him, Crucible threatened to ne to have it make sure he never comes back to Right. Uh Crosden. So I've got no problem with turning around. <clears throat> and chasing him? Right. We're chasing him then. Okay. I mean, you guys do what you want. I really don't think that we need to, like, hurt anybody in this, especially since, you know, we've got our friend here that when we hurt people, they can sometimes not be hurt anymore in a really, like, weird and awkward, gross kind of way. I'm just going to work with these letters. Bagby, don't worry. I'm not gonna hurt him. I'm gonna fucking kill him! No, that's what I mean. We shouldn't do that because of our friend. There's there's rules to this, Bagby. There's rules! It is your choice. You are the captain. I'm going to work on these letters over here. Hey, Duncan, do maps have keys? Like they've, a got, legend? they've got legends, but I don't yeah. know if they so much have keys. But like a legend. I hope I can get something from that. Can I see the map? Let's have a look. And I roll out the map and we look for a legend then. While the boats were chasing down the other boat. Okay. Uh, investigation. Investigating. I will help her look for one. So she can 
you, roll you take the lead. Advantage. That's a nine. And the dirty 20. So I will take the dirty 20. Dirty 20. Fantastic. Um, you don't find a legend anywhere. You do, however, notice that one of the T's is capitalized. And very small under five letters there's a small underline Ooh. what letters are underlined yeah, which letters are underlined <laughs> the capitalized T okay wait for it okay B okay one of the S's. Got it. The lowercase t. Okay. And one of the W's. Okay. So those letters are underlined. I'm going to guess off the top of my head that that means those are the first letters of each word. I'll be back in eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> and I run away and I sit down <laughs> <laughs> alright um, Ori kind of sighs as much as an eagle can sigh and uh -huh. just kind of flaps off and I'm going to I would like to try and kind of do a pass over the other ship and see how many remaining crew members there are okay um, An eagle's count. I would imagine they can, Duncan. I mean, first what of all, also it's wild them. shape, so it's still me. So it's oh, really right. a question of can Ori count? Right. I get what, buying that. I feel like you should Ori. still answer his question. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, <laughs> four, twenty. Um. <laughs> Math is hard. Math is hard. All right, you. Uh, roll perception, flying over. Doki. It is with advantage. The first is a twenty-six. Second is a 13. We'll go with the 26. Good choice. Uh, 26. Um, you are able to see there are, in total, counting Henley, three people on that fucking boat. And because of it, the fire is not getting put out in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> yeah, I take a dump on the boat and then I and then I circle back. <laughs> I uh, land on the on our boat, and I turn back into Ori, and I. Uh, let Jenny know. Well, let I, I say speak it loud enough for anybody who's around. But right. say, well, um, far as I can tell, there's only uh, Lenley and uh, two other crewmen left on that boat. Uh, hardly have enough to sail at home, much less put out the fire in their sail. Uh, I don't. I'm not sure they're going much anywhere. If uh, and if you want to question them, that that's fine. But and if you want to strand them out there, that's fine too. But not really our way to just kill people in cold blood. I know you got your way and stuff, but are you just talking to not me? How we roll, yo. <laughs> Sorry, I, said. 
do I think he's talking to you, Jenny? Yeah. I figured that out about halfway through. <laughs> Listen, I'm just going to talk to him. You won't have to kill anyone. I'd like to talk to him as well. So... Get ready! With the hooks, we're coming alongside! There's rope and grappling. Grapples, right. Here we go. It's another throw the rope moment. It is. It's a throw the rope. They're already tied down. It's fine. <laughs> Wait. So roll for it. Roll uh, I'll, I'll, I'll toss a grappling hook too. Wait for it. Roll athletics. Throw. If you're doing it. Key. Yeah, I didn't do well. I didn't do well. I don't think I actually even made it to the boat. It just splashed in the water next to it. <laughs> Duncan dinged it straight off the railing of our own of their own <laughs> boat, and it went right in the water. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my thing, though. That's not. What I'm, I'm not good at those things. I I got a twenty. Okay, you do just fine. Um, attention under the one rope. Uh, it gets very taut for a second and then snaps. Duncan, take the wheel! Get me close! Fine. I take the wheel then. Twenty-one, my survival roll. There you go. This is what I'm good at! Okay, you get a little bit closer. Um, you see Jenny run run towards the uh, front right of the boat, um, starboard. Uh, and uh, you reaches into a pouch along the side of her belt, pulls out something, and throws it in the air. She immediately jumps probably 25 feet from your boat to the other boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm frozen again, so I'm going to switch cameras. Oh, I just thought you were okay. Yeah. <laughs> if I used a higher spell slot for it, could I attempt to entangle the two boats? Mm, yeah, they're pretty close at this point, if, as long as Duncan continues to try to get them closer. Well. And you relay that information to Duncan. Bring it in closer, Duncan. I think maybe I can hold them together without the hooks. Right. Do you want me to re-roll? Um, no. You're able to pull. You're able to get closer with that roll. Uh, and you uh, do. You get right up alongside Ori. Go ahead. It's it, it's normally against a creature. Uh -huh. If it's against an object, it just happens. It just weeds and vines sprout out. In, in a 20 foot square and just kind of pull everything. Okay. So, uh, we, uh, the vines and weeds spread out, uh, from a point I'm going to say on Lenley's boat and interlace into, uh, the railing alongside of yours, uh, locking the two boats together, not right alongside. It's sort of the front half of, uh, Jenny's boat and the back half of Lenley's boat. But right. yes, they're now intertwined. Just doing some poison ivy shit. Yeah. <laughs> You're banging Harley Quinn? What the fuck? Once I say that that tangling's happening, I leave the, the helm in a in a run over and jump onto the other boat. Okay. Uh roll acrobatics. Bagby, are you really just not there anymore? Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use a bit of luck. Fine, I'll take the 10. <laughs> 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 it's not elegant, but you're able to uh, 
climb after tripping a couple times over this, uh, to the other side. Crucible, do you cross over as well? He's not here. Yeah, um, I cross over. Okay. Uh, well, no, I can't. I'm still tied to the mask. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I would, I would go over. Originally, I was going to snap it with my beak, but now that I'm out, I'll, I'll just try and untie him. Okay. Um, uh, Joe would probably cross over as well. I will Baby, say that you... if you're crossing over the viney area, it actually does count as difficult terrain for what that that's yes. worth. That is true. So it's half speed, unless you roll a dexterity saving throw. Um, Bagby, where did you go to read your to obsess over the map? Um, I probably just took the map and went like to lean up against the mast i don't think i went like on below deck or anything she's there okay so i was just i was just kind of wondering if you like <laughs> if you just went into the same room that ramita happens to be in or <laughs> or where somewhere where she out. has a door she can close behind her hurriedly <laughs> no she probably just sat down like right where she was okay she's very inconvenient okay <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. She can't see or hear anything happening around her. Uh, she can. <laughs> chooses not to. The focus it, is too close. Yeah. Selective. Always here too. Selective hearing. Bo is, is not here. in in any way going to try to get it over all that mess. That is not <laughs> happening. <laughs> uh, I, hey, I help you from here. I... Get him. <laughs> oh, do you need my help? I can't get over the fucking things. I think we'll be fine, baby. Just you, you do your words. Guess I'll guard Bagby. <laughs> Are you good with anagrams? Do you want to help me, Bo? I, uh, uh, what's an animal, Graham? Can you read? Really? All right, that's enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> just, um, as I'm untying Crucible, just, uh, help out Bagby if you can, and, uh, maybe... I, there's no one at the helm. Granted, <gasps> we're not moving, but Chad maybe just try and make sure the boat doesn't get stolen. <laughs> Chad, picture um, in the back. Chad, Let's picture in the there. back. There'd be. <laughs> Yay, Chad, picture. <laughs> oh, Laura, you're going to miss the Chad picture. I saw the Chad picture. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, my kid is losing his shit tonight. <laughs> What's he mad about? He's three. God only knows. Uh, don't I know that feeling? No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> the only person who, here who does is the person who is so distracted by his camera he cannot comment on anything happening. The um. Uh. Okay. Yes. So, uh, Duncan, Ori, and Joe, you were on the other boat. Um, as it stands, um, uh, Lindley is trying to casually talk to uh, Jenny as the other two people have, like, kind of squared up against you guys jumping across. But they don't look super confident in what in this whole <laughs> situation. <laughs> I need the two of you just to stand down, right? Go stand over there, actually. Roll intimidate. Cinnamon roll oh, intimidation. Yeah. Go. I, I don't use that much. But uh, actually, I've got a plus five in intimidate. <laughs> if I That's roll charisma, better, it would be so bad. Based out. Right, exactly. Um, Fifteen. They both look at each other. You okay? <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks. 
I stroll up to stand behind behind Jenny then. All right, all right, all right. Everything's cool. We're all cool. So why don't you tell us what that was all about then? You know, this is business. Getting work done, the nine to five, as it were. Working nine to five. With the deep folk like that? What a way to make it. more than just pirate, pirating. Could to be honest with us now? Well, you know. The pair. And look, he... You didn't happen to get anything off of the, the orange one, did you? As it sunk into the nothingness. Because I only got paid half up front, I'll be honest. So, that thing? A page you? Oh, I. Do what? I mean, you don't know? He was yelling at you the whole time. Oh, oh Duncan, Irish. Irish, your mom would be angry at you. What? They were talking in Aquan. You tell me you don't know Aquan. Of course not. Why would Gills on your goddamn her? face. Are you going to just tell me what they were saying then? He's mad as hell. At... You're a... Uh, uh... Are you going to let her kill me? Just real quick. Well, I don't, I, 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 I don't think I'm going to let her kill you. Okay, fantastic. It was yelling at the silver-haired <laughs> pain in the ass. Ori? No! He points at uh, Jenny. The hell do I do? <laughs> yeah, what the hell she do? I don't know. Said, we're hunting down one of your captains. I said, okay. Well, no, first I said, we don't do that. And then he gave me a bigger sum of gold. And I said, okay. Jenny. What you do? I don't know. So this is going to happen more then. I mean, this is just the first time. And there's going to be something else that comes along and tries well, to Well, I hope me. someone else comes along. No offense. <laughs> I only got paid half. And I lost half my fucking crew. Right. As I'm kind of like, I would also have walked over there, I think. Yeah. Um, Jenny, do you think any of the, uh, were, were any of the people that you had a disagreement over uh, workers' rights, um, were any of them somebody? Uh... I mean, I didn't know most of their names, but... No... She puts her hand axe back on her belt. Lindley, I'm going to be playing with you. If you take another job like this, I'm going to cut your hands off. That's fair. That's fair. Well, that's fair with me. Yeah, I, I, I get it. I did. I will say they sent something about the rumor going around. The orange faced one. About her. All right. Tell him everything he told you. Or tell us everything you told. I'll be honest. My Aquan's rusty. <laughs> but. Something about, uh, uh, it doesn't translate perfect, but it's like MacGuffin. Do you know MacGuffin in a story? Like the thing that, uh, is, um, is the thing that you have to take to another, it's, it's the important thing. It's an object. It's really yeah, the I, important thing. Uh, they kept referring to her as a, there's a rumor going down and. 
underwater that she's similar. Right. There's a bit of a bounty. Oh. I don't know nothing about that. They was going to collect a bounty. I was just a, uh, you know, hiring and traveling and hunting. Right, right. And I know where she ports. I mean, it wasn't that hard. Sorry, Jenny, but you got to switch it up a little bit. I was thinking about it, but I paid for that spot six months out. <laughs> Yeah, you shouldn't do that, I know. This is discounts, but you shouldn't. Is the boat still burning? Hi. How big is the flames then? I'm looking up there. Uh, it's probably um, the um, enti entire main mass is probably gone at this point. Right. As flames drop, the other crewmen are trying to like stomp them out of the water on them. <laughs> I use shape water in attempt to put out the the rest of the flames then. Just pulling it from the side. Splash Mountain. All right. Fine. More shit, I don't know. When you try this shit again, I'll fucking kill you. That was fair. She starts marching back over to the other boat. Where'd the orange one come from? <laughs> I don't know. Showed up in honor one day. I mean, Showed those, those uh, elemental types, I don't really... A lot of them get sent my way because I... I went to school and... I don't look like it, but I did. Alone, or was that his entourage? Uh, no, he brought the uh, the 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 blue boys, the Marfalks, with me. The uh, tentacle things. His crew. Did he give you a name? His name? No. We don't often do names. Insight. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nine. Yeah. You believe what he says. Lindley. Do what Jenny says. Best listen to her. And stop being such a big piece of shite. Alright, well, that's that's awful judgy of you. I walk away from him. Try to only rob bad people. I pat him on the shoulder and I walk away. That's what I was just fucking trying to do. <laughs> You knew it was Jenny, and you, you, you talked anyway. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, okay. Yeah, I, I realized it kind of right after I said it. I'm like saying to Duncan as I'm walking away. Hello, Crucible! Pleasure! <laughs> okay then. Well, I'm off. <laughs> if somebody would get rid of the uh, ties that bind. Oh, right. Uh, thank you. Oh, that scratched up the paint real but Okay. <sighs> He's worried about the paint when his mast is gone. Well, 
Boy, well, you just remember it could have been a lot worse for you. <laughs> you sound a lot more drunk all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm not drunk. <laughs> I don't think he was ever sober doing one of those movies. I'm surprised that John Wayne voice never came up in uh, in Deadlands yet. He starts to sail away. Jenny. All right, hey, let's go. Girl. Oh, hey. Right. I'll take the helm again. You want me to roll to get us back underway? Yeah, you 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 steer. I'm going to go in the crows. Right. Sixteen? Um, yeah, you're doing a fine job. Now, of course, you don't know what you're looking for again, but... You know what I mean? Aye. But, yeah, you start to head out. Okay. I'd walk up to Crucible, and I assume Joe. Uh-huh. Uh, Hello, Tech Girl. And uh, just be like, well, I'll be, I'll be, Got out of that, uh. All we got out of that dude was that, uh. It was all because Jenny was important, but we already knew she was important. Sounds like they're trying to stop her from going somewhere, being something. Don't know what, though. Well, if, 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 it, if the translation is MacGuffin, sounds like they wanted, they probably wanted to take her, they wanted to capture her. For whatever purpose, right? I'm not sure if it's so much about stopping what she's doing. If if the chaos that she was causing was a real problem, they would have sent more people to try and stop right. her by now. But it seems like, like they is... want her, to her for something. Yeah. Well, let's find these arcs then. Don't want all this... Everything happen. We've got a chance to stop them. So let's find them. Yeah, I sure hope so. Jenny, what do you see up there? Sorry. It's all right. I'll just see Bagby in there with her little laptop doing some brute force hacking. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I don't see anything yet, but it's still dark. Bagby, do we have any ideas? None that are good. Just okay. randomly, she's going to yell out phrases like, The ways the blood shows, there are too many fucking S's. The blade shoes thy woes. Nope. The blood shows why T's? The blood, why two sashes? Nope, that's not it. <laughs> Back to the drawing table. <laughs> okay, then. Um, I feel like she's onto something with the blood part, though. That sounds about right. I mean, in most of these things, it has something to do with blood, doesn't it? I, mean, I don't do a lot of reading, but I've done some. It would, um... Crucible's pooping. 
I would scurry up the ropes to near the top of the mast. I wouldn't go all the way up in the crow's nest. Um, Cause I, I don't want to crowd Jenny while she's volatile. Uh, but uh, I, I would try and see what I can see from up top. No, getting, th- getting thrown off of the mast of a ship. Yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs> um, Ooh, or he could become like an owl or something. Because I'll see her quite well, at least that's what I've heard. He's changed shape a lot already. I don't know if he's got a lot of those left. <laughs> do you got hey. enough media to change to an owl, Ori? No, but do you know what else can see pretty well in the fucking dark? An Ori? <laughs> <laughs> I just right. kind of grab my ear and fucking wave it at him. <laughs> Any of y'all see ever seen the old uh, knife ear thing from that old video game? The the dwarf. It's it's one can. I, I, it's an old meme. I'd have to find it. It's from a video game. Um. Uh, Bars well, wants to know from, what the letters are. Was it from Shadowrun? Because I know in, Sh- in no in Shadowrun. Well, they might have put a copy of it, but it, it's an it was right. like an early generation PC game that has a dwarf yelling at uh an elf and it starts with all right you knife here piece of shit <laughs> it just goes <laughs> downhill <laughs> for like three minutes from there <laughs> yeah. i'm going to craft some brass runic balls attach them to your fucking body so i can put my put my steel boots right up in there <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah that's in the uh in the book i read on shadow run like all the rule book stuff like uh yeah knife ears was a pretty common pejorative for elves mm-hmm. uh okay what'd you roll right Ori? oh i got so caught up in the conversation i hadn't rolled yet i apologize um that'll be a gentleman's 25 um you see small cooking fires Let me. Whoop! That's not big enough. Also, we're zoomed in too far. Um, so you guys just rounded this island, and basically this kerfuffle happened over here. Okay. Right. Um, so you sail a little bit, or you see what could be cooking fires or something on the southern part of this island coming up. That's probably seven, eight miles out is all. Okay. It, that, it, and we're heading, uh, we're heading east, southeast. Right now you're heading basically purely east. Okay. So you're heading towards the north end of that island, not the south end. I see cooking fires. On the on the east southeastern island. Right then. All right. With that knowledge, you're able to adjust your heading, Duncan. Right. Sun is coming up soon. Are you going to head straight uh, at this speed? You could could potentially get there before sunup are you going to try to do that Jenny what I say we we drop sail wait for sunup we fine don't want to surprise them fine be bad drop anchor at least look for low Ooh. right Look for anchorable water. I pull more towards one of the smaller islands that's off to the to the west of the larger one then. Sure. And take us in relatively close to one of those. Okay. So I could drop anchor somewhere. So like right like this one right here? This little one right here? Little, right. That's a good one there. Okay. So you How uh, long are we gonna wait here, Duncan? Wait for sun to come up. 
It'll be a couple another, hours. Another two or three hours then? Okay. Short rest. You can short rest. Right. None of you, save maybe Bagby, are going to actually get credit for a long rest on this, though. The word beast can't be in it if these letters, underlined letters, are the ones that start letters. Or start words. <sighs> so she definitely didn't get a long rest. The... <laughs> I'm not sure she got a short rest. <laughs> <laughs> this is purely Laura, by the by the way. She has given up role playing. This is Laura wants to know this. <laughs> this is what the fourth week that we've played since having these letters that we haven't figured it out. I am going to start pulling my hair out if I don't figure this shit out. You're doing a good job. Okay? You're doing a great job. But I can't just say, hey, you got it, if you get it. You know that, right? <laughs> you just have to it's, commit to something. Well, it's going to make sense. I believe that it's going to make sense. And none of these make sense yet. Okay. So I'm still here, just so you know. But I can't get shit to work right now. That's no good. I'm sorry. So we've got you by voice then? Yeah. What Very you could well. do, Patrick, is you could um, pull up Zoom on your phone and then just use your computer for the rest of the stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I could do that. That's quite a good idea. I am a problem maker, solver. Yes. Sometimes you're quite smart. All right, Just thank you for that. I'm still a problem maker. <laughs> all right. So, you all get a short rest. And the sun comes up. Uh, Laura, based on exhaustion rules, or do you all have a point of exhaustion? It has basically been a full day. Yeah, if we didn't get a long rest in 24 hours. Yeah. So, you all have one point of exhaustion at this point, too. You can add that on your character sheet underneath conditions next to armor class. You can get six levels of exhaustion hmm? before Jesus. you die from yeah. it. <laughs> Level one is disadvantage on ability checks. Level two is speed halved. Level three is disadvantage on attack rolls and saving throws. At level four is half point max hit point maximum halved. Five is speed reduced to zero. Six is death. So the only person who's ever gotten a six is that one Russian guy who they let stay awake for two weeks, right? Wow. Did you ever see that? No. I think it was Russia, right? They had um they had for the sake of a science thing they had a guy stay awake for two weeks, mm. and then he died. <laughs> and he died. Yeah. There was some guy in uh, Korea, in uh, or in uh, South Korea, in an internet cafe after the release of StarCraft II, who played so long without like eating or sleeping that he just died. Yikes! Your body, uh, we're, you're not as you're both less fragile and more fragile than you believe. I promise you. Uh, <laughs> really simple shit kills you really quickly. Do you know you can OD on water? Not joking. The, um... <laughs> uh, okay. So, you... Are... Right. Uh, sun, sun has come up. You can see the uh, cooking fires more clearly now. They're not trying to hide them. And from the distance that you are... Show it again. From the distance that you are, you can see that there is a... Uh, um, the sort of, like, makeshift village has happened there. You know what I mean? That where, where they tie all their um, different fishing boats together. 
There's there's sort of flotilla nomadic village that they do occasionally. I stroll up to the to Ramita's uh, cabin door, and I knock politely. Excuse me. Yes. It's, it's me, Duncan. Good morning. Good morning, Duncan. What can I do for you? I'm getting dressed. Yes, right. Um, I just curious. Do you have like, I don't know, some some colors or something that we might fly on our way in? You know, so we don't, you know, draw fire of any kind. She walks out in a new outfit. <laughs> that, right? Well, that's... You look lovely this morning. A queen must look the role. Don't I... worry. They'll know I'm coming. All right, then. Also, I doubt any of ours are here yet. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a long... It was a long night. Really? I slept like a baby. Oh, that's good to hear. Here we go, then. How'd your little fight happen out here? You kept me awake, by the way. Sorry? It's all right. I mean, we're still here, aren't we? So I suppose that went well. All right, I'll take us in then. Now, uh, point to order here. Um, do I have to roll at disadvantage to all checks with a point of exhaustion then? All skill checks. Skill checks. Just skill checks. All right. Well, then that, it's most things. 12 then it's not great um you don't feel comfortable getting super close but uh just because you don't know the under what the uh seafloor looks like here um but yes you're able to get relatively close drop sail let's anchor We can take one of the take one of the shore boats in. Got a skiff back there, I think. Yeah. Jenny, you coming? Oh, I, I don't think so. No offense. Bagby, you coming? What? Yes. It can't be the shadow toy who bless. Why the fuck would there be a shadow toy? Bagby, <laughs> have you slept? Hmm? No. Okay. But I have lots of coffee. Oh. I go ahead and untie myself from the mask and decide to go with you guys. Oh, crap, Baskets. Where did she find coffee? Don't know. She could have shared. <laughs> yeah, that was the problem I had with it. Too. <laughs> <laughs> right, Crucible. Let's go then. All right. You all head in. Bo and Joe. Ro. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bo and Joe. Bo, Joe. Well, you're just... That's fine. I'll just do everything. Or I guess that's Joe. <laughs> Joe is now John Wayne. Okay. He was originally Patrick Warburton. <laughs> if you remember properly. He was. We really need to bring that back. I thought it was great. We all complimented on it, and then he got self-conscious and backed off immediately. Shame. Not that one. <laughs> all right. How's, how's it going? Well, at first I had three pages of possible phrases. Right. Some of them were also just funny. Stop digging. 
Um, and now I'm down to about half a page. But again, none of them really make sense. I can tell you between this week and last week, you have said all the words. You have said them all. All of the words. I'm sure I have. The question is, what order do they go in? <laughs> none of these make sense. I mean, you said a lot of them. You're like, really a lot, a lot of them. But some of them made sense. Like, I really like... And the shadows they gather or something like that? No, that one was they host Shadows Below, and I thought that one was really good, but that's not the right one. I like the blood shows the way, but there's one too many S's. Well, I, like, I think the word blood, that, that makes a lot of sense to me. Continue to use that one. Yeah, and then I've the, gone, that's a good word. I've gone through all of them, all of the combinations of words that would go with blood with the rest of the letters i'm going to keep going right. when we're done with this i'll take a break maybe my brain will come oh, through yeah. right I i've got a great deal of faith in you maybe because you're quite smart so thank you i am smart right i I'm agree going to sleep on it we're going to sleep later right well i'm right. smart too yes yep, you yep. are yeah 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 <laughs> To totally, Joe. Um, so, yeah, I hope we can get a nap in after we report in. I hate me. <laughs> <laughs> I hate me. What's going on? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sleep on it. And, and then I'm going to look at the map again, and then I'm going to make sure that we wrote down all of the letters right. Because maybe I maybe I missed something, or maybe I got really excited because I was tired and writing down letters that I wrote down like one too many S's or something. And you're going to stop drinking yep, coffee Yep, it's now, Bagby's fault. No more coffee for Bagby. And I take the mug away. <laughs> <laughs> no. Come here. Come here. She's hanging from the Come bottom here. of the mug. <laughs> 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 Oh, no, 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 don't. No. Once she got her hands on, you can't take it away from her. It's like trying to take something away from a honey badger. I will bite you! <laughs> hey, fight! She will hang on till she's, you know, out like a light. I want you all to know, as you're getting closer, Ramita speaks up. Yeah, he, he is having technical difficulties. First mayor of the sun in Spaghetti's mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, nope, reverse of that, bars. Uh, <laughs> one too many letters. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. I went back over it real quick while she was talking. Um... And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> At least now I can stop. I can just stop. <laughs> the, I don't know uh, if you can stop, but you have to stop. <laughs> don't give me any more anagrams the rest of this campaign, please. <laughs> oh, weirdly, there's another one coming immediately. The, uh... <laughs> I'm just joking. The, uh... Um, Poor we Poor weeks. Oh, God, why is the telephone telling me when I'm going to die? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the um, Ramita speaks up, like I previously said. All right. Now, I am going to do my best to tell my husband that there is no need for any of this. Okay? But if it has already happened... Or if he decides it needs to. Y'all just need to be cool, okay? When have we not been cool? 
I mean, don't step in. Right. I, I like you. But you know that sometimes a king gives an order. Do you understand that? Oh, yeah, we don't care about that at all. You should have seen this one time that, like, High King uh, Elf dude, he was all like, orders, orders, orders. And man, Bagby just let him have it. <laughs> I was Did very persuasive. Did not give a single solitary fuck. We're kind of friends now, and he sort of owns Joe's soul. But that was Joe's decision. See you later, Scuddies. He doesn't own my soul. It was a choice I made. <laughs> right, he owns your body. You sold your body. Right, I got it. Um, yeah. You. Um, as you get close, they clearly noticed you and wave you ashore. You are approached cautiously at first. Hello there. Um, who goes there? Well, it's, it, it's me, Duncan. Hello. All right, and the queen of the arcs is here, Swale. Oh, that was a strong decision you made there, Duncan. What is, you said that you were... Fine. Ori, take over. Oh, hey, uh, I'm Ori, and we are uh, some other... Uh, and these are my friends... Uh, Duncan, Bagby, Crucible, Joe, uh, my cousin Bo, and uh, I, and um, you, you know, and this is Ramita, and uh, yeah, hi, uh, we know Tara Nungadal. From behind like, uh, the guy, from behind the guy talking to you, they're okay. <laughs> Phew. Man, you... you really threw me under the bus there, Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently, I can't do anything right. Not around her, so you just do it then. Oh, Duncan. It's trying to help us all. I'm sorry to make you feel that way. No, you're not. I don't think you're really I'm are. not. I'm not sorry, but I was trying to make you feel better. <laughs> you were apparently feeling inadequate at that moment, so I was being nice to you. I'll pick on him some then. Or maybe Crucible can do it. He's, he doesn't have any feelings, apparently. Crucible is... Where would I even start? <laughs> Uh-oh. It's Lincoln time. Yeah. Can you say hi to everybody? They're over there, buddy. They're over there. Lincoln. 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 Okay. Lincoln. 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 Is his, Lincoln. Is his own picture on the other screen? Is that why? Nah, he sees other? Auntie Catherine. He sees pictures of Auntie Catherine on the other Aww. screen. Aww. On Facebook. Hey there, Lincoln. What you doing? How are How you are now, you? dear? You say hi? Hi. Oh, that was a hi, yeah. That was. How was he doing? I heard you're like... Doing the thing you do when you're three and just not being happy about anything. Why were you screaming earlier? Is huh? it your new job? Are you unhappy with your new job? I still don't know. There's a <laughs> Why are you, you screaming should, earlier I, at moment? I, see, I, I feel like you never should have quit the steel mill, but yeah. You, know, you, you live and you learn. Her, right? Is it... All right. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Good night. Yeah. Yeah, that's Catherine. He loves his Auntie Catherine. 
Give me a kiss. Okay. Have a good night. All right. Bye bye. Yeah. Um. Sorry about that crack about your feelings, Crucible. I was just fe I'm, I'm not in a good place right now, and I kind of took it out a bit on you, and I apologize for that. And I can understand, you know, being a made of metal and wood that one can assume that I don't have those feelings. But tell you the truth, there, Duck, and I, I took no offense. Right. No, it looks like I'm it. sorry. Anyway. Are we done with tea time? Can we go? Bagby, seriously, you got to toughen up these boys. You're muted. Muted. Toughen up, you lot. <laughs> Don't make me train you like I trained the Adina Guardian soldiers. She hasn't had a lot of sleep and she's had a bit too much caffeine, so. Onward! <laughs> they lead you up and there's been a whole um there's been quite the uh setup put on shore tents offerings food lined up on um improvised tables um decorations for a celebration around and at the far end you see your friend Tara hello there looking like he's uh like he's gonna throw up <laughs> <laughs> Friends, hey. Are you all right? You look a bit green in the gills. Well, you look a bit glue blue in the gills, Duncan. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Because I've got, I've got a gills in there blue like that. I, that's a good one. We've received word that this morning sometime the War King shall arrive. That's why we're here. Taylor Mori. Oh yeah. Um we are here with a uh, with um Ramita here and uh, Are a single she... one of you gonna properly announce me motherfuckers? What what, what, what I, I apologize. We should have worked this out ahead of time. You got kind of upset with what Duncan said before. Bagby started How saying would something you like to be presented. Bagby started Presenting saying something. Presenting the Queen of the orc peoples, your queen and mine, the beautiful Romida, bow in her presence. Bow. <laughs> no, for real, everybody should bow. She's legit the queen. She's really cool. Uh, uh, Tara, bow, Tara bows, and then everyone else sort of does it as well. Thank you, Bagby. You boys, goddamn. Can I take a nap now? <laughs> the coffee crash is real. No, but nap later. No, baby, you're gonna want to stay awake for this. Go have some whatever's boiling in that cauldron over there. I'm sure it'll wake you right up. <laughs> the um, Tara looks very shocked and and continues to bow. Uh, uh, War, War Queen, I uh, I did not know you were arriving in such with such uh, friendly company. I didn't either until yesterday. Want to become famous? Cool. I'll become famous. Yeah. Blocked. I would say to Tara, 
in Druidic. Friendly company because we hope she can bring us towards friendly news. Well, it, it, have you eaten yet today, my queen? I have not. We have prepared a mighty feast. I'd love to eat. Immediately, she's being fawned over, basically, by everyone. And you can tell this is something that she's not only used to, but enjoys a little too much, you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, food is offer also offered to the rest of you. Incredible selection of, uh, fruit, uh, root-based vegetables, and a lot of fish. All manner of different dishes. Tara, after a little bit, Tara sits down with you. Um, away from Romita. To try and speak to you. Okay. Please tell, please tell me you have good news, please. Um, I, I kind of look around for like anybody else wants to field this. And... Well, it sounds like she's going to try to convince the War King to not continue on his rampage since. Death kind of told her that they should have just stayed at home to wait for their son. Okay, that was a lot. Um, de yeah, okay. Um, but he's, but she hasn't said anything to him yet? Well, we haven't been able to contact him. Oh. We're hoping she'll steer him towards peace. Okay. I'm not... I, I don't know how to... Um, Baby, I don't know how to throw a punch, even. We're going to try and avoid that. At this point, you what? all hear a horn blow from around the bend of the island. A resounding horn. Oh shit. Tara stands up and puts a Tara. Yeah. Before you go. You know I grew up in a village of full of people who look like my cousin over there. Strong folks, prone to prone to brawls and fights and all that. Strong warrior people. I could never throw a punch, but I got by just fine because I'm like you. We have our own power. Thanks, Ori. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, how tough can it be? Whatever. Two dozen long Viking style long boats around the bend of the island. They all sort of line up so that they can cross as a long bridge from one to the other. They start to, the first boat jumps off and lays down ramps. As people behind it, ramps are set between the boats and t tethered together. It's quite the sight. It happens all at the same time and in perfect unison. Prepared a thousand times. Really quickly, the shore fills up with... 
warriors in all manner of armor. Orc, different sizes and shapes, but orc. Once everyone's off, the ramps are removed. And leaping from the top of the boat. Room is made for a single person. A hush falls over. And then great cheering comes from his own people. Ramita confidently strides up. And the stern nature on the clear War King's face grows a giant smile. As he takes off running, grabs her by the waist, and lifts her in the air. My queen! <laughs> oh! Oh, it's been too long! Oh, it's been too long! <laughs> Stop it! She slaps him on the back. And he, sorry, sorry! Puts her down. Stop it, you big idiot. And she pinches the... Pull, clearly pulls a few hairs out of his beard. Ow! Ow! <laughs> uh, do at least I get a small kingly kiss. <laughs> Fine. As the small peck, he grabs her, lifts her up, and then turns into a large kiss. She gets him two big slaps on the back again. And he puts her down. (laughs) 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 Uh Uh Sore eyes. Uh, Shit, I should... You recognize one of the people standing near near him is Rumek, actually. The general from before. The only person you know. After a small grunt from Rumek, he turns around. Oh, uh, yeah, um. Terranungadal. The chief of this tribe. Terra steps forward. Not so confidently, but steps forward. Oh. You're young. Uh, I see. I bring gifts. He reaches into two large bags that are being held by nearby people and pulls out a scepter made of what appears to be gold and jewels. You can't imagine how much money this would cost. It's huge. For you. On this kind day. Uh, thank you, uh, War King. I'm not your king. Don't bow to me. Hell, I might be your killer. <laughs> he sort of pokes him in the chest real quick. But do something good with that. Or have your next of kin do the same. We will handle our business in a minute. I have business to discuss with my greatest counselor. He turns around and winks at his wife. (laughs) She has this look of, she's trying to look upset, but it's not working. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, sir. Uh, yes. Good. 
Uh, we we bring we brought food for you. He turns around and looks. You're too kind. <laughs> food, eat. He tells the people around him, "Don't take too much." <laughs> His soldiers come through and very politely take like half bowls and stuff like that of bowls they have, just small little bits, and then thank everybody they pass. You, all you included. They spare no one. You're welcome. Hello, Duncan. Hello. How are- Nice to meet you. Hey, how are you now? Hey, how are you now? Hey, how are you now? <laughs> Hi, I'm a goblin. Hi, I'm a goblin. Hi, I'm a goblin. I know that I'm green. I'm not a small orc. I'm a goblin. They w- a goblin. they wouldn't. They actually, Bagby, it would be surprising to you that they do not bat an eye at you at all. Not a one of them. At that. I gotta fucking pee. So you guys go ahead and talk for a second. Uh, Ramita and the War King have separated, and Terra is off on his own with his counselors. So it's just you. So. This feast brought to you by Fish People Sticks. <laughs> we have them. No one's touching them, but they're here. <laughs> now an extra crispy. So what are we going to do when things go south? Because they're going to go south. There's no doubt about that. I don't know. We have to remember that if this turns into a big old brawl, Romina's gonna bring these people back. And then they'll have an army of zombies on their side. Right. But also, Just... I like Terra Nungadal and I don't want him to die. Right. Well, Romina said, told us that she talked the War King into these one-on-one battles over conquest through massive through massive battles and that's that was her idea that she got him to go along with in order to prevent you know massive armies of the undead from rising as a result i guess the best we can hope for is that she talks him into altering tradition even further not really a thing that um from my from from my limited knowledge that orcs are known to do but it's a possibility I suppose we should have gotten more insight as to what she was planning on telling him or did you guys talk to her more I mean, from my conversations with her, from what I understood, she was going to try to convince him to stop this, like, war path and just go home. Because death told her that she would not have missed her son if she had just stayed home. If his intention is to... If his intention is to go home and not keep along the path absorbing armies as he goes then maybe the uh, maybe the fight doesn't need to happen right that's the hope is that he just they just decide they're done yeah when has anything been that easy for us though oh never not just for us. That seems selfish. Like, not you know, but for the world. <laughs> I mean, just one time. That's all we really need. To, if just be one time, it would be nice. At this point, uh, you see Rumek walking up to you. What's been interesting to you is that the soldiers... Oh, we lost Bagby. Um, the soldiers have seemed very casual since then. They just sit on the sand. They eat their food talk amongst themselves, joking. 
between orc and common and a bunch of different languages. Right. This seems like a like a Wednesday. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. Hey, friends. Right. Hey there, Romacar, you know. Quite nice to see you again. Good to see you as well, Duncan, yes? Right, right. Ah, uh, pleasures. Pleasures. You remember, you remember Bagby? Bagby and, uh, Crucible. Ori. Joseph, yes? Well, that's hey. right. Hi. <laughs> a lot of things are slipping from me, but I've always been good with names. The, uh... King would like to speak to you when you have a chance. Okay. How have you been? How have you fared in your travels? I remember last time we spoke, you were upset. He starts to lead you. Casually. Well, it's been different, I suppose, is the best way I could say it. Mm. What a Midwest response. <laughs> is Are the uh, repairs going well on your town? think so. Good. I'm glad. It was quaint. Nice. How was my grandma? <laughs> Nitma is a lovely woman. We spent... <laughs> <laughs> You're we... a politician. <laughs> <laughs> that is my job, Begby. She is good. She should be returning to you soon, and if not already. Have you not heard? Well, I heard she was going back, but I haven't really heard much from her since. Mm. She's a person of secrets. I understand that. I believe you should go visit. See if she's back. When you get an opportunity. Oh. Maybe uh, after this. I should say, I have spoken to the king already. You're just outside the tent at this point. A tent that has been constructed very quickly. <laughs> I have asked the king to leave you out of any uh, un unpleasantries after this. As a favor. So if you don't insert yourselves... I believe yourself safe. Well, I gotta, I gotta be honest with you, Rumek. Uh, we're really, really crossing our fingers, hoping against hope for uh, for a more peaceful res res resolution than is traditional. As do I. Friend Ori. But the math, and he looks around at the obvious four to one outnumber here. You know what I mean? It's not good for you. It is, uh, it is not our business how your factions handle your business, but. There is a greater threat to all of us out there, and uh, I hope through discussion that uh, everyone will realize that and uh, come to a more peaceful accord. Mm. Wise words. He just stands there and takes a puff and waits. Yeah, I gotta wait for him to say it's cool to come in. Sorry, I'm just standing here. <laughs> My king, um, I know! 
We've been through the royalty song and dance. Duncan's starting to get the hang of it. Did you really show your ass to a senator? Showing him so- I wasn't just showing him my arse. I wasn't. I wasn't being. Your I'm never pe- live that one down, am I? Your never. people's. I mean, how did you hear about it? They tell that story amongst the balls of your people's government these days. It is renowned. They say yeah, they refer to it as a blue man with white hair. Didn't catch his name, but I knew. <laughs> right, right. I'm renowned. Great. All right. Oh, in. Head on in. Take a seat anywhere. Right, and Duncan, keep your pants on. This time, would you? <laughs> That'll be up to See, the we king. we don't even have to tell you anymore. <laughs> he sort of holds the curtain open for you, right? You walk in, and for a tent that wasn't there 20 fucking minutes ago, there's no sand, there's all carpets, pillows everywhere, there's set up a nice little fire in the middle. Oh, I make sure to get all the sand off of my boots. Yeah, they do ask you to take your shoes off. <laughs> Of course, two of you don't wear shoes. So, don't wear shoes? so there's that. <laughs> Three of you don't wear shoes. <laughs> Man, Foot Locker. Yay, no shoes. <laughs> Foot Locker cannot set up a shop in Croston. We know this now. <laughs> <laughs> as you walk in, you hear a small giggle out of Ramita and a chuckle out of the king. They're cuddled up all nice and close like and she tries to straighten up as as he uh, as you enter. Oh, don't stop canoodling on our behalf. <laughs> I'd canoodle in front of you. She slaps him. <laughs> <sighs> Please have a lovely home. Oh. Uh. That's very nice of you, but this is not our home. Please sit. Rare fruits and rare fruits and meats. Eat some. Thanks. Stuff you haven't seen before. Sits on platters in front of you. I will try all of the fruits. Yeah. I'm going to go with dragon fruit. I have some in my freezer. And dates. Mm, Also good. (laughs) <laughs> I will try a polite amount of everything. <laughs> he bit the middle of a date and he doesn't know what to do with that. <laughs> you don't eat that part. You don't eat that part. You don't eat that part. Don't eat that part. Seriously, did you eat that part? I did the first time too. <laughs> That's quite sweet and rich, isn't it? Hey, hey, it's good. Their food here has been... Baby, it's been shit. (laughs) I've experienced... My wife tells me of the... uh, Well, a brief... Of the story... That you have helped her with. I thank you. And I bow to you. And he bows deeply for your help. Now that you're close... You notice some things about him. One... Uh, while he is well built, he's not that tall. There's way bigger orcs in and amongst his own people and in and amongst the uh, fisher as well. He's only but a few inches taller than Mermita. Um, and he doesn't hold the scars of battle as a lot of others. He looks untouched. Few small scars here or there, but handsome. Well put together. Just doesn't look worn for the road. You know what I mean? And I'd bow back and be like, well, um, thank you for your hospitality and, uh, Hopefully, uh, thank you for speaking to us. What, uh, 
what did you want to speak with us about? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, don't apologize. You're king. I'm... A... I... The king... I wanted to thank you properly. And I want you to know I'm not going to kick the crap out of that kid out there. Oh, God. Right. That's good to hear. Thank you. My wife just told me the best news in the world. We can go home today. And we will be. All of us. I promise you every soldier out there you don't have to hide it. You can just take some. <laughs> <laughs> Every soldier out there has been waiting to hear this for years. And you helped with that. And I owe you an unpayable debt. I'd like to say I would give you any favor here, but the honest word is today, we must leave. The timeline is too short. And our quest, while known where the end is, is quite far. Um, I... Do I, do I say something I don't want to like t uh, I was like I, I, um, I guess hopefully I speak for all of us when I say uh, you know that's more than enough uh, it, we're we're terribly relieved to hear that you're you're going home the uh, with the darkness that overshadows this land I fear that uh, open war would give way for that darkness to basically roll in without resistance and that uh, is what I wanted to speak to you about hmm? open war might not be avoidable even though my kind my kingdom will not be involved I did my due diligence. That's what I do before moving into any area. Your armies are poor. They are weak. Crucible, he notices the markings on your shoulder. I mean no disrespect, by the way. But they are... We distracted your entire army with three scouting parties in the east. Three. They never won a single battle. Your training is poorly, and your soldiers do not want to fight. And the army from the Underdark is vast. Their general is strong. And I believe you to lose when it comes to it. The army of the Underdark? Aye. You... Do you mean the goblins? Or is there yet another oh, force? No. Oh, God. You don't know yet. The armies of Baphomet have reconvened under a general, a gore. And they go stronger by the day.
They have found old service tunnels built by the dwarves and no longer need to open into full combat with Kroskodin. They simply pass around them. Adina Guard will fall. Uh, the rest, we just pee outside, if that's what you're going to ask. Well, well, well that, that will be later, but I had a question, do you mind? Right, okay, yeah. Does this general have a name? No, they are the... They are the gore. They are a hive mind of lesser demons. All of them... Singular focus to serve Baphomet. One of them has come to your lands thinking that their god is alive and well, and he has brought the full might of his army with him. In the Underdark, Duncan, we. You remember that painting we saw right everyone was calling that creature in the painting the gore it is a minotaur looking demon uh double the size no face they have no face for they are the gore yeah i think we've seen it i apologize i do not bring better news it brings me great shame to say this to you without being able to offer proper assistance. In your professional opinion, seeing as war is kind of your thing, no disrespect, of course. <laughs> None. If Take the it. army of Adinagard and the forces of Kraskadin were to ally with each other, would they stand a chance? I believe that Kraskudin themselves could repel the threat. But it would send them into a very long war. And I have spoken with your grandmother, Bagby. By the way, congratulations. <laughs> and uh, uh, in brief, I have spoken with some of your other leaders. They do not seem the type to agree on much at all. Oh, trust me, I know. The advantage of the way I do things, albeit brutal at times, is that that I my word is law. When I speak, they follow. While I listen to many very smart, he indicates at his wife, smarter than you, smarter than me, people. What I say goes. And that makes things quick. Your people would take too long. And unifying your leaders. I don't know about that. It's a fucking nightmare I've tried. The southern dwarven, t the southern dwarven tw tig doesn't even fully trust your city. If I'm honest, I can't imagine how it feels within. What are you about to say, Ori? Uh, yes, the, the 
the the people of Adina Guard are divided, and even more so the the various peoples of this land. So far, the so far uh, Kraskaden is the only one ones who seem to have a sense of direction in facing this foe because they have seen and understand the darkness the 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 people above ground they whether through willful ignorance by certain individuals in power um trying to just hope the whole thing will go away to just simply never coming in contact never understanding if we could If everyone could somehow be made aware of what the threat truly is, maybe people would come together. That's what I wanted to talk to you about the most. My advice to you. This gore believes his master alive. Prove him wrong. They have no reason to op- for open war otherwise. My wife... Well... Tell them what you told me. I heard the rumors too, and... I looked around the sewers, but... I had it looked around. We didn't find no God. We didn't hear no rumors of no God. If there's truly a God of the beasts somewhere, being awful quiet. Someone gave this gore the idea that it exists. You got to find out who that is. You really are the smart one. I am aware. <laughs> Hot one, too. Stop. Just come on. And that's our cue. I kind of shoot Bagby a look of, of do we tell them? Of course, that would be difficult to see if that would actually be translated. Sure. But You shoot her a look of do we tell them? <laughs> I will do an insight check to see if I understand what you are meaning at this advantage because of exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> are we making faces now, what, or what? It's, it's fine. Gosh, I'm tired. <laughs> Quite, quite grateful for all of that insight you give there. No uh, don't, insight. Don't. Fuck, fuck that shit. He stands up real quick. It, continue what you're saying. I gotta find something. He starts digging through a chest behind him. I just, I just wanted to, in return, offer you this blessing. Oh, the uh, glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh baby, I got your wine. Baby, I got your wine. Hold up. He runs across the room and he grabs this <laughs> decanter the size of Bagby. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. They make it just south of the desert. You guys do. Maybe. I, I don't know. You you see you see the look on her face. Her eyes get super wide. She's just. <laughs> 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 you guys got to have some of this shit for real. <laughs> right. Right. It certainly have some of that. Tastes like the best grape wine you've ever had in your life, but it, it'll fuck you up. It's like a vodka. Whoa. <laughs> it's quite strong. Right then. Okay. Tastes so, like juice, though. It's great. <laughs> in Lady Zumberly's grace, may your journey be pleasant. May your catch be plenty. May the winds fill your sail to bring you safely home. Thanks. It's like it's not alcohol at all. It's quite, 
It's sweet. <laughs> Ramita, Ramita just holds the glass up next to her face. <laughs> oh, I missed it. <laughs> Thanks, that was quite nice. And that's even that's even better than Baja Blast. That's what they called it. How the fuck did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> He starts digging through this thing. All right, all right. Here, here, here. Take this. Somebody. He takes out a uh, normal-looking wooden stick. This is for you. A present for all you've done. Uh, it's a stick, so perhaps Ori should carry that then? Sure, whoever. Here, take it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and then, uh, can I sense? Do I have any sense of what it is at all? Um, Arcana. Obviously, I'm not a total dummy. I know that that staves can have some sort of significance, but. Modified to twenty. Um, well, you know, it's a, it's a, it is a magical rod of some nature. That's what you know. I am. This will, uh, this will keep you in the fight. You'll be good. Well, thank you. I'm not uh, immediately familiar with this particular artifact. What does it do? Oh, it, it brings you back to life. It'll be good. And not through, like, fucked up means that I have totally heard rumors about, by the way. I see your guys' eyes, and... Yeah. I just hope you're, uh... Are, are you okay? He looks directly at Bagby and Crucible. Yeah. Baby, are they okay? Mm. <laughs> oh, wait, can you, like, tell that I died once? Oh, yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. I, that's not a sense most people usually have. You know, uh, me, me and Death got a extra special relationship these days. Oh, I thought I was talking to your husband. I knew Romita knew I died. Well, she she told me. Gotcha. Also, I, like, heard about it. Right, right. Your grandma, like, well, no, as you weirdly see, talks we a lot. Fine. Nothing to worry about here. We are both fine. Oh. <gasps> Duncan, remind me to tell you something later. Right. All right. Well, allow me to walk you out. Most gracious, says you. Should probably Thank go. You should probably go tell that stick figure chieftain that I'm not gonna kick the shit out of him. I think he would appreciate hearing that. He would. He would. He looked like he was about to shit his pants when I fucking saw him. And maybe if you could, like, give him a very soft, like, pat on the back and say, you got this, bro. He's See, I heard the chieftain here was a powerful sorcerer. What the fuck's up with that? Yeah, she died. Ah, oh, fuck. I was looking forward to that fight. Oh, damn. He, um... He's not a total slouch in, in respect to, uh her powers being passed on, but uh, could use a confidence boost. Huh. Okay. <laughs> he walks out with you guys. Come on, baby, come on. I am coming. Finishing my fucking glass. I do not run. 
You know this. Like, she doesn't like to run. I know. She doesn't like to run. She doesn't even really like Why to run. Why do you think it took us 11 far? fucking years to get here? <laughs> <laughs> Because you didn't ask for directions and where we were... Died. We don't want to start this. We just saw each other. So I haven't seen each other in three months. Why are we doing this? <laughs> and I walk away. <laughs> and they waddled away. Waddle, 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 waddle. Till the very next day. Waddle, waddle, dun, 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 dun. Rumek meets you outside. He, he sort of like big eye looks at you guys. Hello. Yes. You walk up to. Uh, everybody rises as he walks back out. He's making a bit of a show of it, right? The king. <laughs> Chest puffed. Walking with a bit of a stride. Head pointed down, you know, looking very tough. Where the fuck? Oh, up here. Terror rises and <laughs> instinctively or through uh, instruction, a sort of circle is made in the, around the area. <laughs> Terranungadol. Yeah. Yes. You are chief of these people. Yes, I am. There will be no fight today. What? <laughs> we have news. He scoops up Tara in one arm, basically holding him off the ground as he <laughs> like squishing him in a hug. The great chief Tara, through his wisdom and guidance, has told me, has informed me on the error of our ways, and we shall be going home. Uh, <laughs> uh, cheering happens. Some of his peop some of his people don't know what that are like. What? No, for real, we're going home. <laughs> and then a giant booming cheer happens throughout everybody standing there. Send scouts to all of the to all of the armies. Everyone, it's over. We're done. He looks at Rumek. And Rumek actually sits straight down in the sand. Right where he was standing. <laughs> <laughs> Cheering happens everywhere. And then... The, but only on one side. And then the fishermen are like... Yay! <laughs> Everyone starts singing the Ewok song. Yeah. Huck, 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 but up, huck. T T T Kakapa Chug Nug Chug Nug Chug <laughs> Alright Prepare the vessels We're leaving immediately Everybody starts marching off Thank you Tara He puts them back down You've done an excellent job Don't fuck this up kid <laughs> You he looks, he looks at all of you. Thank you. Very much. You nailed it. Thank you as Thank well. Thank you. If you could do me a favor. Cars? He starts to walk away. You ever hear the name Togash in your lands? You send him south. Oh gosh, right? Come on, Leo, let's go. And she sort of hangs on his arm. 
he scoops her up in one arm and they just start running towards the boat and then he full double leg jumps into the boat with <laughs> while carrying her we're going home bitches superhero landing then <laughs> yep there it is there it is can we take a take a nap now or something <laughs> hey bagby hey remember you, you asked me to remind you to tell me something later is it a good time now? Is it just the small group of us around? Sure. Yeah. So I've been thinking about the fact that I died and talked to death that right. one time. I want to... And the Ori, you might have to be involved in this. And Crucible, you might have to be involved in this. I want to be unconscious, and I want you to, like, peel back some of my skin and see if I have any writing on my bones. Is that it? Uh, that's, uh, that's a highly unusual request there, Bagby. I know, but it, it seems like... I don't Adrian. know that I would feel comfortable doing that. Or maybe we can go to Dr. Skaplin and he can do it, but it just seems like they're the people who had contact with Dumas or the entity that is inside of Dumas and or this miracle god all seem to have this same kind of like bone enchantments. And it creeps me out, and I just want to know if I have them, and if I do, then we need to figure out, like, what are these enchantments going to do? Is it going to turn me into a mindless slave like Adris was for a while, or am I a ticking time bomb? Listen, baby, uh, I was a good enough field surgeon for my people, but this is... Uh... We, we, I think we would need to go to Dr. Scaplin for something of this scale. I mean, I'm not asking you to, like, scalp me. Just, you know, like, the, I don't know, the knee is a kind of big bone. You just slice my knee open and peel it back and look at it. You and do something wrong with that. Just... You do something wrong with that knee and it can bug you for the rest of your life. Just ask my cousin. But Bagby, I mean, it's kind of like playing darts. We wouldn't even know where to look. I can. I mean, what are you guys can... talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Did you get some of that fish? It's just a thought. Keep it in mind. I'm just. I thought about it, and it is just a thing that I. I'm concerned about me too. I'll do it. You'll do. You'll. Wonder, I'm. I'm sorry. What? I'll do it. Like but you'll I, actually do the cutting and the pulling and the looking. If that's what think, Bagby wants. If that's what Bagby wants, I'll do what it. What I'm saying is, don't you think we should take it to someone who knows what the hell they're doing? I mean, like, if we're going to be responsible for it, that's fine. We can take it to Dr. Skaplin. He knows what he's doing. Right, let's go then. Ori, is this a sex thing they're talking about? Yes. <laughs> no. I no, mean, I Bo, just they're don't talking feel about... comfortable with any of us doing it. She's talking about voluntarily being flayed alive so that they can see if there's uh, runes written onto her bones from some... Uh, Join too early. Curse. Got it. Join the conversation too early. Just say that. Just say that. <laughs> well, let's find someone that can do it right then. Mm, be better than us doing it with one eye open because we're all exhausted. All right. Bagby, where can we find yeah. Skaplin? Well, he's down in Kraska then with Adris, I think. Well, that's what I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. But that means we got to get down there. I think it's time we go home then. Wouldn't be a bad idea to make sure Adris hasn't taken flight either. 
And I can visit Grandma. Can we take a nap first? Yes, please. Maybe we should go back and make sure Jenny didn't leave us here. To the Cerberus, then? Yay. Fine. You head to that little skiff. We gonna... Oh, are we gonna... Say a goodbye, of course. Right. We're gonna do Midwest goodbye, regular goodbye, or Irish goodbye. The regular ones? What you don't have the time to do a Midwest goodbye. <laughs> Just wave. Tara waves back. We've got things to do then. He's sort of in shock as he's getting congratulated by everybody around him. Well done. Those the long boats have all but started to set off at this point. It was very quick. You head back to the skiff. Jenny's sitting there. You know, I'd have come ashore if you told me there was gonna be a bunch of shirtless hot dudes. <laughs> I didn't really know that was the, the going to be the case, so all we knew that was that there was gonna be orcs. But try these, though. I give her a date. There's a pit inside there, though. Don't eat the pit. <laughs> Sorry, I should have led with that. Okay. Oh, it tastes good. <laughs> right? It does. It's great. So we, what are we doing? Oh, they're leaving. It all worked out quite fine. Where's uh uh what what's her name? She went back, you know, with her husband. Oh. Okay. Go back so, to the boat then. Let's get um we're going to Krasden now. Wanna come? Uh yeah, I do. Right. Maybe we'll go see her da. Um yeah. Uh, Bagby said she'd do that. Right. You might want to drive the boat, though, because I'm quite tired. That's fine. Right. Nice stick. <laughs> <laughs> you get back to the boat. Oh, thank you. It's uh, It was a gift. You uh, travel back to Crosden. It wouldn't be a full rest in time for a full rest. It just wouldn't. Um, when you get back, you can choose to full rest now if you want. Maybe we could stop at the inn and see Lyra and have a snooze. Okay. Do you want to talk to Lyra or do you just want to do a casual hi? How are you doing? I mean, I would probably check in and see how things are going. Okay. Oh, there's sights for sore eyes. How y'all doing? Really tired. We stayed up all night. Yeah, on the boat. you look ship, sleepy. Ship, I'm sorry. I didn't sleep either. I don't fucking care. <laughs> Jenny! How are you how are you doing? Fine, Lyra. Okay, yeah. Hey, there's rooms upstairs. Uh if you're sleepy or something. Are you, are you hungry? No, we ate with the orcs and the war king. The orcs and the war my god, alright. Can we, can we talk later then? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you sneak out on me, I will cut your little... Okay, have a good one. Cruc Crucible? He can... He, he can fill you in. Crucible, do you fill her in? Would you like to roleplay that or not? I would prefer not to roleplay that. Okay. <laughs> but yes, I do. Okay. 
Long rest. Yeah, long rest, everybody. Hey. And we're going to put it to the next day. We're going to say you guys go real long rest, okay? Just for the sake of it. Yeah, I mean, we'll go to the... I mean, we would sleep and relax, and I would... I would sleep at the end because it's like my house store is has been run by Tira. by Tira for so long that I, I, I feel like it's more hers than mine now. So, and I, I would, once I'm rested, I would go by and check out how things are going there, but I wouldn't like just go over there and crash. Ori run. Uh, I sent you a thing on Facebook messenger. Um, you are now attuned with this item. Okay. Because you have spent most of a day with it. <laughs> um, yes. Next morning. You're all together. We'll say having breakfast at the Spear tomorrow. Blessed, blessed be, Lyra. Your food is fucking amazing. <laughs> well, thank Try you. Some of these, and I drop a handful of dates on the table. Hey. Oh, oh, this, oh shit, my tooth. Right, sorry about that. <laughs> it's got pits in it. There's so one too. I wrote down one too many S's. I got it. You're what? What? I was I was staring at the map while we were eating our breakfast, and I realized that in my notes that I wrote down, I put down one too many S's. So it's not the blood shows the ways, it's just the blood shows the way. That's great, what does it mean? I don't know, but I got it! Are we excited about this? Uh-huh. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. And she's gonna grab the uh, knife off the table and, like. No, no, back me. Oh, oh, God. Put it over the map a little bit and let a couple drops <laughs> go on the map. Back me, what the hell are you? As you're staring at it, the drops of blood run to the edge of the map. And it's actually, Duncan, you would know this because you never get lost. Directionally pointing directly at where Crosden is. And I hold my hand out for Ori to hear it. Heal it. <laughs> <laughs> I heal it. <laughs> don't That's be cutting Crosden. yourself and don't be cutting yourself, baby. Come on now. But it work. What the fuck am I looking at here? The blood shows the way. It's a map. It's a quite to large something. map. And where the blood is right now? That's Crosden. Jenny's leaning in. Hey, yo, is that supposed to happen? As you're looking at I it, you can know. see the blood evaporating and, tur and disappearing entirely. Not even a stain. I flip through the other through the other pages of the map. Do, do I see no sign anywhere in there? No sign anywhere. That was like thirty seconds. And what the hell is it showed away to? Suppose we'll find that out, won't we? I wonder if it's different for different blood. So I cut myself and I let a little blood drip on there. What did I just say? What did I just say? Oh, I'm getting it done <laughs> oh, geez, go crit. Why, why, <laughs> why are we all doing this right now? It. I drip it right on Krasden just directly. Uh, technically, Duncan, you had different colored blood. 
and it uh, while well, ours is red when it becomes oxidized it becomes more of a purple um uh, and it rolls to the exact same spot beads and rolls if you've ever seen like um uh water on those waterproof uh cloths beads just like that and then rolls right to the edge pointing directly at Krausen. Duncan, where did you get this map again? We found it in in the old in the house that um, Dumas what's his house. Name again? Dumas, Dumas house. Dumas house. Dumas. 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 His old, his Depending old on the week, it could be if Ori was talking, it could be Adris, Dumas, or <laughs> Joe. When we went to Dumas' house and we were looking around there. And he was down in the basement, remember? Mm -hmm. Ori and I, we was upstairs, and we found it in a closet there. Hmm. Well, I'm sure we'll figure it out. We should probably get down, I mean, get to the place that we are going. To see your dad, Jenny. Hold up, you're taking them downstairs? Jenny hasn't seen her dad since the situation. And I can appreciate that, Jenny, but... Wait, what situation? There was, like, a lot of situations. There was, like, a series of situations. When her what dad was, was here... Holy shit! Jenny! Dr. Scaplin. Okay. Um... Yeah, I mean, you know I could they're gonna also bring her dad up. You know they're gonna be mad about that, right, Bagby? Yeah, well, I could just bring her dad up. No. Do you mind waiting no. Here? No. You're not leaving me again. I think she needs to stick with us, and I think we all need to go down there. All of us. You don't have to. But you can if you want. I have, an, I have a question about the number of stairs. It's going to be some stairs. It's a walk. More or less than that fucking st spiral staircase you had me walk. More. Wildly less. <laughs> is the, <laughs> is the I'm going to go more. <laughs> You lying fucks. I'm coming. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was spacing off. Yeah, it's less than that. I'm just kind of staring at this ro at this uh, rod staff that I'm holding. At this point, Duncan's blood has disappeared too. Completely evaporated. There is no stain. Uh, what about oil? Maybe not. <laughs> I suppose technically that's blood. I mean, it's your blood, I guess. I mean, if I, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's not like it runs through my body or anything. Right, right. So I wonder if it leads to someone or just the place or where, where that is. Are you sure it's not the way shows the blood? I mean, it could be. What pray tells a fucking difference in the phrase in there? Well, one could mean that it's just uh, leading us to our duds. Shit. <laughs> Do we know that it, the, the, the blood is just kind of rolling off there? Do we not know if this thing is not just like liquid repellent? Well, it's disappearing though. Look, it's not. It's nowhere to be found now. All right, it's gone. Lyra pours half a part of her beer on it, and it just splashes onto the thing. Wait, what are you doing? That I was <laughs> testing his thing. I need a rag. You do it on a little corner. <laughs> <laughs> you grab a rag and start to <laughs> wipe it off there. Hope that the ink doesn't run from the bear. The blot, a... don't wipe. Blot, don't wipe. Right, right, right. great. I blot then. 
It's too late. I've already wiped, but I blocked now. <laughs> it doesn't appear to run in any way. You're okay. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. I'm just so... Holy crap. So we... Are All you right. okay, Ori? I can... You've had some time with this thing. And I've kind of un- grown to understand the gravity of what he said, that it was a, that it could bring people back to life. This isn't like, this thing holds the power not to just bring people back to life if they, if they fall in battle. This can bring back anybody who's died of anything other than old age in the last century. If the spirit is willing. Last century only, Ori? Yeah. Can't go far behind that. Okay. And how many times can you use it? Well, it can either heal... And that takes about a fifth of its power. If you resurrect someone, it takes all of its power. Every time you drain it completely, there's a little bit of a chance it could disappear forever. But if not, it recharges in five days. Holy shit. Yeah. Uh... Ori. Yeah, yeah, Bo. You see, you only died four years ago. Was it? So did. So did mom. So did my friends. So did people from all over. No, people you're, close you're to stuck. All people no, oh, uh, I'll correct you here, Ori. Your stuff happened like 15 years ago. Yeah, all less than a century. Oh, sorry. I thought it was a decade. My bad. Do you want to retcon the item? So no, it's no, no, not no, no. Okay. Well, yes. It actually needs to retcon to a decade, not a century. Okay. It needs to. Sorry. Because I'm starting to make a list. I'm like, we've Eight. got Duncan's mom. We've got Genevieve if we can find her. It actually, no, that, yeah. it needs to be a decade. I've, I, I, a it's, little people we can bring back. I okay. misread the item when I added it to your thing. I'll just say that. It needs to be a decade. Okay. I will say, there, there, there's no way to say this like in in character, so I'll just say it. Basically, you roll a d20, and if you roll a natural one, if it's been completely drained, it, it's destroyed. But other than rolling a natural one after draining it, it remains intact. That is a dope fucking item. It is the top of the legendary items. You're a and it can only be attuned to over half the people in our party. I've given you very few things. Here's the thing you have. It's heal spell, it's it's single charge heal spell is very powerful too. It's a flat 70 hit points. Yeah, that's dope. Never lose that, never break it. 
it is now the party's mission to keep that alive. <laughs> In Rod we trust. In Rod we trust. Well, I suppose we we head downstairs then. And like like I said before, it has to be someone who died of something other than old age. Like basically has to be on natural causes. And it can't have been turned undead. Suppose that wipes out anyone. The queen. Fucked with. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's cool and all. Can I... Can we get going? Mm -hmm. Right. Right. There we go, then. And that will take them to the entrance that they can get in. Okay. You, uh, uh, the one north of town or the one on the shore? The one on the shore, probably. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. You head down, excluding Lyra. You head into your village. Do you stop in with Porkums, Bagby? Hi, Porkums. Hi, Bagby. Is Grandma home, or is she in the city? Uh, you just missed her, actually. Where'd she go? In the town. Well, maybe I'll catch her there, because that's where we're heading. Seriously? Yeah. I don't even get a hug? Oh, oh Lord in heavens. Like, give him hugs. Thank oh, hey. you. <laughs> we met We met some orcs, and I got you these fruits. Oh, what are they? oh the, these small ones here have pits in the middle, so don't bite right into them. It'll hurt your teeth. Oh, they smell so good. <laughs> Thanks, Bagby. You're welcome. See you later. See you. Hey, uh, Co uh Coindeck got a promotion. Oh, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like a lieutenant or some, uh, uh something. Nice. That's dope for him. Yeah. I was excited. We got to have drinks. Oh, good. I've never been to Crosscut and that was wild. <laughs> it's cool, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> you head down into the city. You reach the council district. Do you head straight for... There it is. Um, Jenny and Bo, if you two could, like, put some hoods up or something. Oh, hey. There's, I mean, there are, there are peoples and, and such down here that are, like, the same size as you, so hopefully with a hood up, maybe they won't, uh, question as much. I've got the disguise covered. She just flips her hair over her ears. Oh, right. <laughs> well, welcome to Kraskuden. What's... Why don't... Um, you all start making your way to the... Uh, academy? District? I'm going to run up and see if I can catch... See if Nitma's there. Um, and I'll meet you there in a little bit. I might even get there at the same time because I'm faster than all of you. Right. Okay. Uh, good luck, Bagby. Thank you. And I poof to Nitma's office. All right, follow me, everyone. I think I'm, I think I'm, I'm sure I remember the way. That's cool. Ori, Duncan, and Crucible. 
As you're walking through town, I'd like you to roll perception. Okie dokie. Fourteen. Rattle, 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 rattle. <laughs> Twenty-two. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Fourteen, fourteen, perfect. and twenty-two. Crucible, you're the only one who notices this. Maybe because you're used to being around criminals and looking for tells. Um, as soon as Bagby left, uh, Jenny took a ring out of her, out of one of her side pouches or belt pouches, put it on her finger and started fiddling with it. She basically can't help. It's one of those, like, you can't help but fiddle with the thing. Like you're messing with it. You know what I mean? She just can't help it. But it wasn't a ring that she'd been wearing previously. Not it was definitely before. not, and it was definitely in reaction to all oh, Bagby's gone. Hmm. Okay. I I will keep an eye on her, and if I have a moment to tell someone else, I will do that. Sure. I mean, you could create a distraction if you'd like. Um, These are two people that are totally amazed by what they're seeing around this place, by the way. Oh, look at that over there. Look. I think I'll have an opportunity in a little bit Okay. when our attention is diverted to something else. Okay. Uh, bag me then. I bag. just run quick. Okay. Yeah. You get to... The office. Yes, that's where you're going? Mm-hmm. Okay. And right out, uh, as soon as you duck your head inside, you see, see a small group of people, goblins, gathered around a particularly old lady. And she's sort of barking orders at people. Out, out. Hi, Grandma. Get the... Frag me, baby! <laughs> Come here! Come here! Come to Grandma! Everybody get the fuck out of my way! <laughs> oh! Oh, baby. Oh, baby, Grandma had a shitty month. Oh, baby. <laughs> mm, so did Bagby. So did Bagby. I've been getting... Some random updates. Come on, upstairs. No, I'm not answering your fucking question. I'm going upstairs right now. Sandwiches. Send them up. I can't stay super long because we have to go to the academy. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. You're busy. I know. You're a prof I'll professional. I'll back girl. after. I just want to make sure that no shit happens while we're there. How'd the thing go down with the orcs? Uh, they're going home. God damn right. I'm so fucking proud of you, kid. Oh, thank you. The Queen of the Orcs was really nice. Though she can bring creatures back from the dead and turn them into zombies, and that are yeah. essentially her, like, mindless horde that follows her. That was kind of creepy. Yeah, but her husband told me about that. It's, uh, would have been worse if they'd have taken the place over, I tell you that. They have a rule that if... They put up too much of a fight. He tells people to stop killing the the walkers. Yeah. That's gross. But yeah, they're going home. Payanungadal is still his little self. Oh, I'm glad Tara is still okay. I was so scared for that kid. I know he's not a kid. I know he's not a kid anymore, but, you know. Yeah. Acts a little bit too much like one, it seems like. You're not there. Oh, sorry. I'm so happy to see you, Bagby. I don't know if I can do this job. Oh, come on. You're going to be so good at it. 
I'm baby. not, though. Uh, I'm not great at keeping secrets. They don't have any respect for me. I tried really it hard. It takes time, you know? It's not overnight. You'll learn everything needed. But if I have to do the duties down here, then I can't do the important stuff up there. What are you telling me, Bagby? I'm still thinking. But I want to see the rest of this, whatever the shit is going on. I want to see it through before I commit myself to being here for forever. Shout out to Ori Eat, Eat World. All right. Well, I'm. I don't really want to do this too much longer, kid. Okay. So. And I, I know that's close. selfish. But after this long, I'm allowed to be selfish. Okay. So I need you to think about that. Okay. Just think. Not you, then who? Who's gonna... Lacey? Oh. She's good. I'll give her that, but... She's not the family. Our whole family would have to move down here. And she would take over up there. It's a lot. For a plan to deal with. Well then, get me one of those pocket dimension letter senders. Yeah, turns out we can't anymore. Why? The person who made it died. Tragic. Nobody knew how to do it other than her. Did she die within the last decade? Well, yeah, she died not long ago. She was, uh, uh, lived in the Elderwood. Was it of old age or was it of unnatural circumstances? Well, sounds like she was murdered. I know who this was. I may have a solution. I'll add it to my to-do list. Okay. Well, I really should go check in with them. Um, there's a lot of shit happening. I will fill you in. I just want to make sure that nothing goes down while I'm gone. All right. Well, you owe me time. And I owe yeah, you yeah, yeah. time, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as, as soon as we finish up what we're doing down here, like the reason we came down here, I'll come down and I'll spend a few days. She grabs you by the face, both sides. Bagby, mm -hmm. you're my favorite. I know. I love you. I love you too, Grandma. Go be a hero. Okay. She gives You're you a really strong for a little, really old goblin woman. She gives you a smooch on the forehead and then lets you go. <laughs> All right, cut to. I hop out the window and start running. That window wasn't open. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Nitma really is my favorite character art. <laughs> I love Nitma too. <laughs> Fucking truffles goblin. Cut to Crucible, Duncan, Ori. Mm -hmm. 
You're getting close to the academy at this point. Remember, it was pretty far down on the outer edge of the magma, lava, magma lake. Oh, yeah, casual magma lake. Well, right. you know, down here it is casual. Um, passing over the lake in a small tram. Uh, Duncan and Ori, you remember that whole reflection thing that perplexed you back when you first yeah, saw it? Yeah, seeing into the, uh, like, Ignan dimension. Mm-hmm. You look again. Perception. Not rolling well. 13. Casual 26. 26. You can tell it's definitely not a reflection, Ori. Different things are happening there. The train lines are in different places. You can see boats traveling where there aren't boats. It's different. But when will my reflection show? Occasionally, you see on your side those same those same flame dwarves you saw before that imbued your body with the per right mm -hmm. symbols, and they seem to be able to transfer through. They're walking on one side, and then all of a sudden they're walking on the other. Did I ever talk to you about this, Duncan? As I'm looking down there with him. You, you mentioned some, something weird going on? It's, it's what, what do you see that? What do you see now? Well, everything's changed since we've been back here. They've been so busy down there. and uh, It still looks like a reflection of the city, just different. Mm -hmm. What do you think they're doing then? Not sure, but the fire dwarves, the the uh, ignorant dwarves, they're just walking back and through, forth through. You can see them over there coming up on our side. They're uh, they're just passing back and forth between sides of the the. the it's almost like a. It's not so much a reflection as it is a portal, almost like the way that. Uh, the lake was with that moon out. Right. They just seem to pass back and forth. I mean, I'm not volunteering to try going down there. I think it's already pretty uh, balmy up here, you know? Right. Does it but, look like they're taking things back with them or bringing things out? Uh, what? Do I see anything in that regard? Um, it, it seems to be they're capable of it. Yeah, they take um, the stuff they're carrying. Uh, boats seem to pop in and out. Yeah. Well, yeah. Should we go there then? Well, I don't... I Like I said... I don't know if we can, and I don't know if I want to walk into lava. Well, but if you say there's boats there, maybe we could get a ride on one of those. Maybe. What's my um? Based on who who uh, who my father is and uh, all that and not what not. Um, what is my under level of understanding about planes? Um, your knowledge would be restricted to the... Um, Ones I've been to. Yeah. Uh, so it would be the earth plane, the, the, the plane of nature, the plane of uh, the fey, and the material plane you're on. But I, I, but I would I, I, I would know that other planes exist, just not yes. much about them. Yes, you would. You would know that there are potentially many other. Mm -hmm. well, I know that things operate very differently. 
going to the different planes we've been to when we went to you know the elf king's world things were vastly different there based on based on the folks going in and out of there there's no guarantee we could survive in the fire plane we could i mean i guess i could dip a hand in and see if i can heal the hand back if it burns away completely or Maybe we ask someone first. Who knows? <laughs> well, we are going to the academy, so maybe they know more. Well, they almost certainly know more than we do. Right. Crucible. Um, everyone's staring at the windows. Great. So I kind of step between the two guys, just ever so slightly, maybe just my head poking in between the two of them. And well, I either, say... Guys, uh, so I noticed uh, Jenny put on this ring. I was fiddling with it. I hadn't seen this ring before. She seemed pretty nervous about it. And I'm thinking maybe we need to keep our eyes on them. And then I drift my head back. Okay, I just peel. So what's Jenny up to then? I would like to... <laughs> oh, 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 goodbye. Yep. Um, I would... Um, sneakily try and detect magic on the around her hand that the ring is on. Okay. Do you cast the spell, or do you try to do the ten minutes? Oh, I'm not going to be able to do something sneaky in ten minutes. No, I, I'm I'm just casting it. Ooh, you're gonna get caught. It glows, <laughs> of powerful adjuration magic. Adjuration. Okay. Good to know. Could, uh, let them know. Um, I don't know what that is. And neither does Chad. <laughs> Some a school of magic used for protective spells. I think she doesn't feel safe. Thank you very much for watching tonight. I had an excellent time. This is a good one. We will be back tomorrow, yes? With Deadlands Blood Moon. We Wait. will be back Sunday with a distant star. Hopefully. <laughs> Tuesday. Check in on Tuesday afternoons. It's sort of a rotating thing, but right now we're doing a uh, research and dirt development. And then we'll be back next week with more of this. Thank you very much for watching. Have an excellent evening. Have fun, everybody. Stay safe. Bye. Bye. Bye.